attack us. He just fell on the ground. Say, hey, you have killed me. Oh. You have killed me. You have killed me. Say, don't call the same just again. Hallelujah. See, it's a Christian that don't know what they carry. They don't know. And as far as you don't know that you carry these things, they will finish you. The general of a sea of mountain of fire and miracles ministry. I think these stories are just coming to my spirit now. Remind me of an Hagen story. Pastor D- or Dr. Dikio Lukoya, is it not his name? He gave a story about how a particular woman and her husband, they didn't have children. So the woman started moving around. And a certain man, she was always going to meet, to do all manner of things, was always saying, call your husband, bring your husband, bring your husband. So that particular day, she would always tell her husband, the husband said, I cannot go, you the pastor. Was a pastor. But she continued to press on it. The pastor went. When he got there, the man just saw him from afar. He said, tell the people following you to go back. He said, nobody is following me. He said, just tell people following me, go back. <laughs> he said, okay, people, all of you following me, go back. <laughs> he didn't know that angels were following him. He told them to go back. The man just gave him one thing to drink. That's how his life punched. He finished him. If you don't know the powers that are backing you up, Satan will swift you. Even in heaven, angels were needed to chase away Satan. I said, woe to the inhabitants of the air and the, of the, of the earth and the sea. For Satan, the devil, has come down to you. How do you not think you survive without the angels of God? When last did you declare calling on the angels of God? Please remember, you are not praying to them. We are not praying to Maleka or to Angel. We are not praying. <laughs> oh, we are declaring the word of God and they move into operation. Psalm 103, verse 20, is it not it? How many? Psalm 103. This one is not honor. What's the matter? Is it going up? I think you check the generator. It's not giving stable footage now. First of all, Hallelujah. it's not giving stable footage. Go and check it. Hallelujah. Check the flow. Hallelujah. Is the. Um, that's. Protect the director is not working. First of all, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 103, verse 20 says, Let's open now. Verse 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. That excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. So the angels do whose will? God's will, not your will. They don't do our will. The angels do God's will, and they hearken to the voice of God. So anytime you speak the word, you give voice to God's word, they will make it happen. They will answer you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, I tell the story of Kenneth Hagen. Kenneth Hagen said he was talking with the Lord Jesus one day. And as we're talking, there was a man standing there on the left. And as they are talking, it's like we were looking at the man, we were talking to Jesus. And it was like the man was distracting him. 
Then he told Jesus, Who is that man? He said, That's your angel. He said, My angel. He said, Yes. Have you not read in my word where Jesus said, Let the children come? For their angel behold the face of the Father, my Father in heaven. He said, When you grow up to become an adult, you don't outgrow the need of having angels. Your angels are still with you. You can explain why children tumble and don't think the kind of things that happen to children. <laughs> they tumble, they somersault, you, you think they are dead, and they just come out, they are still jumping. Their angels are fighting for them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then they said, okay, what is he doing here? And the Lord said, He has a message for you. He said, message for me. You are already telling me messages. He said, no. There are some things that I will not tell you. It's your angels I will tell you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May you acknowledge and know that you have angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so angels and assignments. What we need to know about angels. Praise the Lord. Number one. Okay, before we go there, you should know that angels are ministering spirits. We said they are messengers, which means they come to minister to you. Is it not so? So angels come to minister to you. Hebrews 1, you can try it again. Hallelujah. Hebrews 1, verse 10, oh, 13 to 14. Hebrews 1. Are you there? Verse 13. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Said to which of the angels? Then verse 14 he says, Are they not ministering spirit? To minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. So the angels are sent to minister unto us. Know the meaning of minister? To attend unto us. Do you understand? They are sent to attend unto us. Your angels will attend to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So to attend means to assist you. To assist everyone that is heir of salvation. That is born again. So first function, let's look at the functions of the angels. They are not arranged in the most important ones. They are just um, put up here. Number one, what you need to know about angels or functions? Angels worship God. Hebrews 1 verse 6. Angels what? Worship God. Worship God. Hebrews 1 verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of the Lord worship him. So angels are to worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah, sorry, Isaiah 6, 1 to 3. Isaiah 6, 1 to 3. I hope you still know where Isaiah is because, you know, when people are always using projector. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isaiah 6, 1 to 3. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his strength filled the earth. Above it stood the seraphims. Hallelujah. 
Then you look at verse 3. He said, And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. See, they were singing. They were worshipping. When he said, Holy, holy. Hallelujah. They were worshipping. So angels worship God. Revelation 7. Hallelujah. I'm giving you a lot of examples. Revelation chapter 7. Verse 11. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders. Hallelujah. Amen. And all the words. All the angels stood around the stop, um, throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God. Hallelujah. Amen. I see it now. So they worshipped the Lord. Verse 12. Say, Amen, Amen. Blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you see that the angels here are worshipping the Lord. Revelation 22 verse 9. Revelation 22 verse 9. Hallelujah. Then said he unto me, talking about the angel. If you look at verse from verse 8, you understand it more. He said, And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel. You see, John saw the angel. Out of his ignorance, he fell at the feet of the angel to worship the angel. Just like some people are worshiping angels today. That's the apostle of Jesus, so, that followed Jesus. He fell down, wanted to worship the angel. We showed me these things. Then said he unto me, so the angel is telling him, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren. He said, I am a servant. Then said he unto me, See thou, see thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophet, and of them which keep the saints of the book. Worship God. Hallelujah. Worship God. Worship God. Don't worship me. Worship God. The angel is saying that I am a servant of God, just like you are. And I'm a servant of your brethren. Which means I'm your servant. Praise the Lord. So angels are servants to us. They are God's servants sent to us to minister, to take care of us. So they are our servants. Hallelujah. We are not to worship them. They are like our house heads. They come to help us. They are like our assistants. They come to help us. You need finances, they are angels of financing. They will go and bring it to you. You need breakthrough. They will go anything you need as you declare what is written concerning you in the word of the Lord. They will go and do it. They don't need permission from God to do it at that time because the permission is already given. The permission is tied to the word of God. Once you declare the word, they don't need to say, God, should I go and do it? They don't need to say that. They already have the permission to act into the word. That's what we are saying. Declare the word. Speak the word. If you are not speaking the word, you are not declaring the word, there is nothing angels we have to work with. Some people say they are Christians since they have been born again in this world. They have never declared anything for the angels to do. They don't even know that they have angels. Yet, angels are pushing them to wake up to pray. They are waking them. They are doing all manner of things they don't know. 
You have opened your heart. Something just pushes you. Say, "Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus." Sometimes it's angels. Some other my grandpa will not die. They will see me. I don't know. And it's angels that are trying to talk to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So angels, what they worship God. We are not to worship them. They serve us. They are sent to us. We are not sent to them. They are not sent to come and minister to us. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Are you sent to go and assist angel? Angel is sent to come and do your work for you. Hallelujah. It's to come and serve you. Come and minister to you. That's what we're saying. Who is a servant? One that attends to another. Praise the Lord. They are sent to come and attend to your needs. The moment you give your life to Christ, extra angels are assigned to you to be ministering to you. In case you want to fall into a dish, they will hold you. Hallelujah. That's what I'm saying that if I ever fall, one angel must be punished. Praise the Lord. <laughs> say, I'm going to stop in my leg, I fall. I say, angel, where are you? <laughs> Hallelujah. You should be that conscious of that fact. Praise the Lord. Number two, how do they minister to us? Say they administer judgment. Say they judge our enemies. Judge our enemies. Hallelujah. They administer judgment. Acts chapter 12, verse 23. We read that scripture again and again, but for those of you who may be seeing it for the first time, Let's read it again. Acts chapter 12, verse 23. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten of worms, and gave up the ghost. But the word of the Lord grew and multiplied. The word of God just said, Go. <laughs> the enemies of the word of God are dying. This man, in, in verse 1, he stretched forth his hand to be arresting the pastors, the men of God, and killing them. Now, angel went and slapped. The last person he arrested was Apostle Peter, the head of the church. An angel slapped him, smote him. He gave up the ghost. In other words, he kicked the bucket. He died. Hallelujah. Second Kings 19 verse 35. Second Kings 19 verse 35.